What is going on everybody, welcome back to the Civilization 6 TSL Gathering Storm Let's Play. Nailed it. Getting better at these names. Um, as the Khmer, we've made a, I don't want to say slow start. We're not doing that badly. Um, we have two very big cities, which, I mean, China's kind of close as well. Gee, I think 14, 22, we're, we're 24, okay, so we're a little bit better off. But yeah, I think it's fine. We don't need to take over the whole world to win. Or maybe not win, I don't know. But we'll try our best either way. But we, yeah, we don't need to take over the whole world to have an interesting game. <laughs> not trying to make excuses already. It's just there's not much more I can do right now. Like we're not, we can't invade India. We're allied to China, which was it? I mean, I think that was better. If you take them out, like you have to deal with all their neighbors, and it just becomes difficult. Whereas for now, at least we just we've got a big border that we know is safe, protected, and we're getting some science bonuses from as well. First things first, we have plenty of money. Oh, China, um, encampment buddies. This we're never taking each other out, are we? This area. There's no way we're getting through here. Two rivers, a mountain, two encampments. Although one is ours is better than theirs. Not sure what plays into that. Is there a reason? Is it just because theirs is new? Oh, maybe we built one of the buildings inside it. I was going to say, it seems a bit harsh. Uh, I'm actually going to save the money. I know, I said I was going to... Actually, I was going to say I could buy boats in the capital, but I'm buy them here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Never mind. Um, galleys, which ones are better? Galley, quadrireams are better, so let's buy some of those. I can only get one this turn. Oh no, I can get two, because another one will spawn in the harbour, right? If I move that one. Oh wait, they're quite expensive. I don't, I can't buy any more. Never mind, that was all our gold pretty much gone in one go. <clears throat> Very nice. Just, just what we needed. All of it gone. Okay, this city, our second city, actually has better defence than our capital. That's just like the land around it, the rivers maybe, the more, I mean, both are kind of, I mean this one's not so much on the coast, but they're both in kind of like poor areas. Is there anything built here? I think it is, it just doesn't look like it. Um, oh, hello missionary. Let's keep spreading the wonders of Buddhism over towards India. Generates 20 grievances. Oh, go on then, I don't care. Right, Apostle, when you do promotion, evangelize belief, launch inquisition, spread religion. Evangelize belief. And a new quadrim. Where did that one come from? Oh, that was the one we just bought. I was very confused. <laughs> okay, so we can get a new belief. There's so many to choose from. Each campus or commercial district, city following, provides one science or gold. Does that come to me? Or is it... I'm thinking, if we spread our religion to like all of Asia, do, do all the other civs benefit from this too? Or is it just us? Plus one gold for every four followers. Science. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't state whether, like, these bonuses, do they go to me or just the owner of the city that it affects? It would be interesting to know. There are so many. Religion spreads 30% further away. What did we go for before? Shrines and temples provide science equal to their intrinsic faith. Allows construction of mosques. That's what we went for so far, plus extra spreads. Yeah, we're trying to focus on spreading our religion everywhere. <laughs> that would be kind of fun. That's kind of what I want to focus on. Cities you capture automatically adopt your religion. Holy site district provides plus one. Religious units have plus three site. Fifty percent cheaper to purchase inquisitors. That'd be nice. Uh, missionaries and apostles get an extra re spread religion charge. I'm thinking, do we get better spread, or do we just go for the thirty percent further away spread? I feel like because there's so many religions, we probably want to spread it manually. I can buy loads more as well. Just a just a heads up. Um. Yeah, I'm going to get the extra boosts, on, uh, boosts, spreads on missionaries and apostles. I know, that's the right choice. But, you know, we can't just end the video now and wait for the comments to pour on in. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Would be nice. I guess that's the benefit of live stream and stuff. But, that hasn't gone well before. Uh, what was I doing? Where where'd the missionary go? Oh, he's still here. Uh, we can just keep purchasing more. Uh, I feel... Uh, hmm. Just wondering, is it better to just get another Apostle? I don't know if he can do any more evangelizing and stuff. That other one did disappear. So we'll see what happens. Oh wait, did he? Or was he over here? No, he did disappear. We don't have a holy site over here. Okay, a lot more people have gone green towards us. There's a few oranges though. Most of, all of them were orange at the start, which is nice. Everyone being so kind to us. Working on the resources. Okay, Delhi actually converted pretty much straight away. 
this city is Buddhism, if we can convert like India's other cities, then Buddhism is already going to be like the dominant religion in China and India, which like in real life would be a pretty good victory for us. Um, Apostle, we can get another belief. Holy moly. That is, I, I made the right decision. See, I know what I'm doing. Uh, the districts all take 24 turns. We could wait for the population to grow a bit so the production grows. Um, could also try to eventually get that governor that lets us buy stuff with favor. Just check it. No, okay, it's not there yet. I wonder if the new update kicked in. It's not. Just checking. Uh, we all could just build some units, and that's probably a smart idea. Quadra room seven turn production for units is not bad at all in this city. District's still taking a while, but if we let the population get up, it will increase. Right, capital. We can get a lighthouse. If we give housing, which we need, citizen slot, admiral point per term, we get one of these as well. I will look into one of those. Actually, they might might be good to get one straight away. Okay, that's about city states, which don't really matter. Intelligence agency, spy and spy capacity. Interesting. Grant grants the ability to buy land units with faith. If we're going for a strong religion, I think that's the one to go for. And another belief. Right, plus two faith. Everything's following. When you send an envoy, it adds 200 religious pressure. No, there's no envoys. It's camp. Plus one. I want to focus on just generating so much faith. Because it would be fun. Do something different. Land tiles adjacent to holy sites yield an extra one foot. Yeah. Land tiles adjacent to holy sites and additional one faith. Oh, these are different choices to what the ones we just had. Well, the ones at the top are the same. Oh, well, I guess there's like 10 religions. Other people probably pick them. That 30% spread one is gone, for example. Um, land adjacent to holy sites. Gain extra science. We could go for extra faith. It gives you two gold. I don't know why that's... That's better than the rest. Uh, I'm going to actually take that. I know I said I wanted faith, but let's take some extra gold. Plus three year score. Very nice. And let's have a look at the religious map across the whole world. Just Not just to show off that we're actually doing okay at something, because this might... Oh, it, the update is here. Oh, I'm not sure it was. We can add map tax. I don't know how this works. Oh, there we go. Ooh, so if I click on a tile, so here's our harbour. For example, oh, add tax. If you haven't seen this... I'll show it off, some of you will know. You just put it down, and it shows me where my stuff is. Um, I'll leave that for now. I'm probably going to go around and do it all. I think it's a cool feature. just helps you find stuff. You can also like tap, tag things around the map that maybe you just want to keep an eye on. It's pretty useful. Um, so let's get rid of them for now. Okay, that's really easy. I like that. Map search, another cool thing. I don't know what it works for. But let's say we put in Germany. Oh. I pressed the wrong buttons. <laughs> Germany. I tried to shift. That was what it was. Is it going to take us down 76 results? Oh, but there you go. For the mo oh, that is that is pretty cool. I mean, I don't know what. There's got to be better uses for it than that. It's more like finding specific units. I don't know if you can search for resources, stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um. Okay. I wasn't sure it worked, and I just clicked there, and it wasn't the button I was looking for. But where are the map pins? Not pins. Lenses. Religion. There we go. Buddhism is the put pink. We're off to a good start. There is Eastern Orthodox down this way, which we'll have to try and get rid of. <laughs> Up here, there's not too much religion, so hopefully we can take out Mon get Mongolia too. This area is not too solidified. Shinto looks okay, but Europe pretty dominated by Catholicism, and Africa again pretty much. It's spread around. It's a little bit mixed. So maybe if we can get Buddhism going strong, we can maybe compete with Catholicism. I mean, I don't even see half of these that are on here. So yeah, are these Buddhisms going strong? Maybe we can keep it up. Very nice. Storm Rage is on. Tornado Outbreak. Oh no. We can purchase a missionary. I think we may as well just buy Apostles. I think they're better all around, although they are more expensive. We need 8 more Era Score. I don't know how long we have, but we do need 8 more. To at least avoid a Dark Age. Sometimes Dark Ages are okay. Because you can spring into a golden age, and that's good. But it doesn't make the screen go really dark, and I hate that. So, let's try and avoid it. What was that? Your pledge fulfilled. Yes, that's because I never had troops on their border anyway. I don't know what they were talking about. They just came up to me for no reason. We are falling behind on technology. Although Korea and China are just miles ahead by themselves. So, you know, we'll let them off. 
Nita, that is an important resource, and our unique units there. Pretty cool. Um, okay, build a mine, increase our production. Right, what do we want to do now? Eight turns on this, seven on that university. It's probably why Korea and China are ahead. If you get the universities first, I imagine they're going to give them a good science lead very early. I'm trying to get that unit closer. Let's try and convert. If we can get India converted, maybe they'll spread our religion. I don't know if one of these... Is, it doesn't tell you where the holy cities are. I assume Hinduism is in India. Just based on there's no other religions here. But India's capital is this one. So I assume if we convert all the others and then try and convert the capital, that would be it. Choose civic. Alright, build two markets. Maintain four trade routes. We're at three out of three. Uh, build two markets. I don't think we have two commercial hubs, so we should probably go for that one. Not boost it. We can try and boost the other one. Spread religion. Boom. And, oh, it's still here. Oh, the Apostle did disappear. Um, we buy another missionary, though. May as well. Let's just try and convert India. I mean, if we can, like, completely wipe out a religion, that sounds really bad, but just get it gone and just have Buddhism instead. Then India might start spreading that. I, India quite a faith-driven sieve normally. I don't know if Chandra Gupta's India is the same. I don't really know his benefits, but yeah, I mean, if he starts spreading it for us, which can happen, if we convert all of it to Buddhism, it's going to take some time, I think, because it is next to the holy city. But we're trying. We're trying. Maybe it is on the down, even in their sort of home. It's on the down spiral. Where's that settler going to go? If it settles here. I will take it. Don't worry. I will not, not allow that to get them to get away with that. Don't worry. I got us covered there. Okay, then what, what's Congress going to be interesting? We only have 95 diplomatic favor. Not too much. Converts in 291. Great. That's. I'm think. Is there a tile where I can get both? No. Let's say. Could you imagine? That'd be great. Buddhism still not super strong in Delhi, but let's go send this one towards this city. And then hopefully we'll have it well and truly on the rise. It's on the rise pretty much everywhere. Oh, not up here. I don't know what's going to replace it. Probably Eastern Orthodox, right? It doesn't say it's converting, so I don't know. Let's just have a religion-based game. Let's just change your plan. don't know what you have to do to have a religious victory. I think you have to convert every city or something, which on a TSL map might be a bit of a stretch. Oh my goodness, we're trying so hard. It's just not, not coming through for us. Oh, they're down to just a pantheon in their capital. That is weird. How did it leave... Oh, is this... Wait, this is the new capital. Original capital. Wait, what? <laughs> How did... Oh, because they lost that one. I thought it would have switched back, but maybe not. Your borders are too close to him. You settled next to me. God, some people... He is very angry right now. Which I guess makes sense. Please don't declare war on me while I'm busy. You have a lot of elephants. Units. I mean, India's not going to be able to go after me. I'm just, just saying. I mean, there's no units in our capital, but they can come down quickly enough. Okay, this city is definitely going to convert soon. And surely this one will too. Although now that this is flipped and gone all weird, that might be why it's taken forever. And the missionary is now dead. But we'll get a new one pretty soon. It's all good. It only costs about 140. My demands must be met. He wants me to give him three gold per turn. That is a no. I've never had the AI demand something from me before. It's it's like in Civ 5 when they request some money, accept it, and you declined. In fact, you've continued, adding additional 25 grievances. That's okay. Ooh, gentle eruption. It looks so bad. I think it's because I'm on low settings. Gentle eruption in southern Japan. Rifling boosted. Nice, come on, convert. Come on. <laughs> Another boat. Add to our navy. I'm going to try and send these towards India. Just scare them away. Uh, we have boosted this. Let's get that. Right, what do we need? Build two universities. We're so close. That's like one turn away. Build a lumber mill. Uh, I can try and do that. 22 turns. Seriously? <laughs> Come on. Uh, actually, I kind of want another builder. We actually have plenty of money, so I'm going to buy another builder. Just build another boat. And I'm going to purchase you a builder. You can work some more of the tiles around here. I can't wait to build something here on this geothermal plant. Now hopefully this this tile here in particular might get a lot of fertility, some extra food. 
Could be very interesting. You built your empire as the rising sun. Powerful and brilliant. I know, we are brilliant. Japan, oh, they're still settling down here. Which is good news, because that's just going to mean they're going to get in the way. Hopefully they get involved with Indonesia. It becomes a bit of a mess. They are about to settle right next to us. At least we have boats ready for this. This was the plan all along. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how loyalty is going to work out for them if they attempt this. I'm going to trust that China, despite their big army that's sort of lurking there, will, will maintain some promises to us. Or not promises, we'll keep the alliance going. I think we're good friends. I hope so. It's very hard to see what units have moved and what haven't. Also, a lot of our units need upgrading, so I will use the money we've saved up to do that. But yeah, it looks like they're going to settle here. Great. I mean, it's fine. We'll just go after it. Wow, production. Very good in this city. Makes up for some things, I guess. Aqueduct, five turns. Armory, seven. Water mill. Okay, let's get the water mill quickly. I'll only take three. We're about to complete two other things. A civic and a tech in three turns. Stirrups and guilds, both very nice. We actually did boost guilds in the end. Not sure how. When I said there was no way we'd get two markets, we obviously did it. I don't know if we got it like one of the random things, maybe. maybe we didn't actually do it. In terms of German aid, Jesus. How, how did some... Germany has actually given people money, so that's a negative for them. Uh, there's no way I'm giving away a thousand gold. Jesus, they are taking this very seriously. I guess it's because there's more AI than normal. I'm trying so hard, okay. But there we go. It's probably... Well, here we go. New city inbound for us. Don't know if I need... Why can't I upgrade? I need iron. 19 more. I have one. We do not have any strategic resources. That is an issue. Uh, we also don't really... Okay, let's move over there. We don't have many siege units, so I'm hoping these boats are at least half decent at attacking the city, and that India don't have any boats to defend with. Hopefully. Uh, medieval walls, just because it's the capital, you know, it probably needs those. Governor title. Ooh. Okay, do we want to give these guys promotions? What can we do for you? Ten religious strength in combat. Allow cities to purchase districts with faith. That could be cool in the future. We don't really have enough faith to do that right now. Plus one science per turn for each citizen in this city. We're making 51 science as we are falling behind. Let's see what it goes up to. Still 50. I think it changes when the turn changes. He is in our second city. Although, to be honest, they're both about as good as each other. So it doesn't really matter. And it went up to 67 per turn. So that's really nice, actually. And actually, we are getting more from our second city because of Pingala. Not just, not just for normal. It is only just more. But yeah, Pingala... Putting in some work. I like that. And Alexander has been defeated. I think that was Macedon that spawned nowhere near Macedon. Once again, Indonesia. I have no troops anywhere near your land. But, you know, cool. <laughs> Whatever you want to believe. Uh, there's no time for them to get walls in this city. As you can see, it's at 10 health. Or defense. Uh, I mean, this warrior is just so far away. It probably doesn't matter now. Another quadrim. Very nice. Just keep adding, adding more boats come around here and I guess Indonesia can see boats or, or is scared by our boats. Harbour would be nice obviously but this city is like double triple coastal to <laughs> feel like something else could be more use and a commercial hub would be really nice actually. Um, just, ooh, if we slapped it there do we lose the gold? Yes that's not a good idea. All the tiles here are really good for food. don't want to build on any of them. And I don't want to build near a volcano ideally. Stick it there. <sighs> Stick it next to the gold. That, that, in my head, makes sense. Didn't seem to give us any adjacency bonuses, but still. Makes sense to me, to put it right there. Uh, demographics. Oh, it's Germany are falling off a little bit. That's what I said, team. They will fall apart a bit. Oh, begin voting. City-states. Oh. It doesn't matter, does it? Right, just military. It doesn't matter. It's a free vote. Cost zero. City-states aren't in this game. Select an outcome. Earn double points towards great people of this class. None towards... So, I think this is for everyone, right? Would you have to choose... Yeah. So, do we want lots of... Everyone to get great scientists. Everyone to get great merchants. I feel like scientists can be unfair. If we have everyone getting great scientists, that could be... I mean, what are we closest to? It's always a good idea. Uh, great people. 
we are closest, personally, to a great merchant, I think. Oh no, a great scientist. We're actually in third place, though. So probably not going to get one. Uh, oh, we're pretty close for a great writer. Oh, I don't know. Let's just go great merchants, because that's what I said. First great merchant. Boom, just put all our votes on it. Submit. It might win, might not. We'll find out. Everyone votes. The whole world. It's pretty cool. All these sieves. Past. Wait, B. No points towards Great Admirals. Oh, they might be OP. Why did everyone vote on this one? Well, everyone had to vote once. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Banking has been boosted. Stirrups boosted. Guilds done. Nice. Uh, upgrade to Pikeman. Let's upgrade the units I can upgrade before we do this. I can't upgrade the Warriors, annoyingly. Which is weird, because they're the like most basic unit. You'd think they'd be... Oh, no, never mind. Uh, can I... Well, I have 150 grievances. Declare form, War of Retribution, Golden Age War, Protectorate War, War of Reconquest. Hang on, make demand. No, not deal. Make demand. Can I... No, how can I just say stop settling next to me? My people need land. I take that as a no. And now I can declare war on them. <laughs> I don't know. He's denounced me. So, oh wait, can I denounce him? Where is the denounce button? Denounced. India has denounced me. Oh, so I can just okay. I can declare war on him. It's fine. <laughs> no one's gonna care. I don't think the AI will care too much. Everyone is pretty much at war with each other. Uh, I still haven't found a way to build a lumber mill. I think it's because we we don't have woods. We just have jungle. That is. There's some over there actually. Okay, purchase another... Where'd all our money go? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Reformed church. Theocracy. Interesting government. Uh, it, is that the government I want, though? Where is the government tab? Change policies, change government. No, we're still stuck on a monarchy. Uh, I do think... I, I, well, I do want a theocracy, I think. Yes. Okay. Then a uh, civic, go for that one. Hello, warrior, just come stand over here. Be of use. France, can you move? So I don't know where our scouts are. They were... Aren't they over here? Wait, no. Oh, yeah, one of them is. I have no idea where the other one is. They were both... Hello, boat. Didn't know you were there. There you go, something new every day. We found a new boat. Oh, India is now responding with their own... Well, they're trying to send in their, their missionaries our way. That, that, we can't have that. I mean, I was going to buy I'm going to buy more, but um, they're going to be sort of unusable for a little while. Oh, we have a new district here. Commercial hub, entertainment complex, industrial zone. Let's just get one. Plus three. But we do lose so much good stuff. Oh, it's recommending here by the look of it. It just says plus two, plus one, plus one. The problem is, if you do it on any of the plus twos, you lose good stuff. And this one has zero. Um, I think it's then the adjacency bonus guy. Also, if I go here, it doesn't actually give me any warning as to uh, whether that land's going to remain there or not. Which could be an issue in the future. I'm going to put it right in the middle there. That's, I don't know. Remove the mine, but whatever. That is going to be it for this episode, though. So, as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.